Today I'm doing a really sick DIY on melted crayons on a canvas that my friend Erica showed me. Some of the items we'll need today are a blow dryer, newspapers or a towel, glue gun and some glue sticks, and a pack of 96 Crayola crayons. And the canvas which I got was 18 by 24. So first I just took out all the Crayolas and lined them up by the colors of the rainbow and I made it with the Crayola word facing up so then it's more neat and stuff which you'll see later on and I also um, excluded all the ugly brown, black, gray colors that I didn't think were necessary in this um, canvas. You pick the insects off plants No time to think of consequences after lining them all up, I just picked it, picked up one of the Crayolas and glued it with my glue gun and and just placed it where it was before, if that makes sense. But you'll notice or understand what I did as the video goes on. I just made it making sure that the word Crayola would stand out so they're all neat. Um, I've seen on Tumblr before, but I think this way makes it more neat and tidy. Crying out for attention. Memories fade, like looking through a fart mirror. This is probably the funnest part, but also it's really stressful because it was like my first time doing it. But basically, when you're blow drying it, you want to blow dry it from the top so it goes down. Like when I was blow drying it, I blow dried it from the tip where it splattered everywhere, so don't do that. And then, as you see, I'm just going by color. And if you think you want it to extend low, um, further down on the canvas, you just kind of like drag the color down as, I don't know, you'll see it later in the video. But basically what I did was I blow dried it from the top and the colors just sunk down to the bottom. Thanks so much for watching this DIY. If you want to see how my friend Erica did it, I'll link her picture below. She organized the colors a bit differently. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. And the music was by Mariah Poppy.